What's up guys, we're back with another video, and I already recorded this video once, but my voice, I had like zero enthusiasm, and it was very raspy, and you couldn't really understand what I was saying, so, in this video we're going to be going over how to complete <coughs> Act 6, Chapter 4, if you just want to go for the completion and you want to get it over with, is the rewards are pretty nice, so don't blame you. So let's jump into the first quest right here. And if it wants to load. First quest right okay. First quest, we got the Iceman chapter. And I'd say off the bat, the two easiest paths are is this one, which is Bane and Power Shield. So Power Shield you can only deal damage with your special attacks, and Bane's Bane, obviously. And Limber. So for this one, Ghost works extremely well, but if you don't have Ghost, I could see this one being kind of annoying with, like, Limber and Bane. But this one, I'm pretty sure you could use, like, anyone for Thermostat. It's a very easy note. It's, you start with a temperature value of 10, and every time you hit them, it goes up by 1. And if you go up to 20, then you incinerate, and if you, every time you block, it goes down by 2. And if you get to 0, you get a Frostbite, so, or a Cold Snap. And this one, it's really easy to balance. You just parry to get in the middle. Or you could just use a character who's immune and just, like, like say you bring Human Torch. You could just go to 20 and nothing happens. You just get incinerate. Might as well. It probably helps you more than hurts you. Ghost, it helps more than hurt. Just get it and phase it and then get damage. So this path is very easy. The Luke Cage mini boss is not a problem. It's actually one of the easiest mini bosses. Um, it's, they take 200% more damage when they're stunned. But... 100% um, of the damage dealt to the defender while they're stunned is dealt back to the attacker. So basically, I think stun vulnerability is just like a trick to try to fucking kill you. But if you do have Namor, I think you could just re destroy him with all that extra damage. But then it also has Aegis Intercept 1, so you just gotta intercept him one time to do damage. And if you're in 6.4, you probably can do that, not a big deal. Final boss, we got Iceman. Um, it's basically just a stun immune Iceman with Matador. Um, it's really not that hard. Just bring like any Iceman counter and they could probably do it. So, yeah, like Ghost, Corvus, it'll be fine. Now I move on to the second quest. And it is the, what is it, Thor Ragnarok final boss. I would definitely say one of the easiest paths is this one or this one. So I'd probably say this one's easier, but this one is long distance relationship, which is like you just get weaknesses on you, not a big deal. Aggression, precision, not a big deal because you're probably not getting hit. And, so, and the only hard fight is just this domino at the beginning. And the good thing is, if, if you screw up on this domino, you could just restart the path, considering she's the first fight. And then this path, you could go for this one. It's just a Force Will, Static Blast, and Typhoon. So, don't let them throw 10 specials or you die, pretty much. But most characters i found could really easily kill them before they throw 10 specials. So you should be fine. But if you are scared, you can't out-damage it and just go for this path. And then for the final boss... I mean, he doesn't look like he would be hard, but he's kind of annoying, like, because he has Aspect of Death, Prove Yourself, and Power Efficiency, and all the special attacks are unblockable. It's really easy to just get annoyed in this fight, because um, he's spamming so many specials, and if you get hit once by anything, and they're all unblockable, you die. Plus, you gotta move, um, go around and throw Ragnarok's basic power gain. So, it, it's kind of an annoying fight. You just gotta play it slow, I would say, is my advice. Because um, if you try to play it too fast, you, a lot of things could go wrong in this fight. But he's not that hard. I think someone like Archangel could just like destroy him. I haven't tried that either yet. Next, we go into the Darkhawk quest. And this quest is... If you have the right counters for Darkhawk, it's not that bad. I'd definitely say the easiest path is this one. Um, this path has clapback and feats of power. So basically, feats of power, and whatever, it's not even a node really. Clapbacks, just don't bring anyone with debuffs that are not immune to them themselves. Like, if you use Sunspot, I mean, whatever, it's fine. Um, Nothing would happen. But if you bring someone like Nick Fury, you could die because he would get bleeding himself. So, this path's pretty easy all around. But I'd be warned, there is Dormammu at the end. He's pretty fat, and he has Footloose and Split Atom. So, like, Captain America Infinity War could just destroy this guy. Pretty much any signs can destroy him. But So, we'll just bring someone for him. And then for the final, Darkhawk, um... He has Raptor Upgrades, Hurt Locker, Power Efficiency, and Lionheart. So the, the nodes that make this kind of hard are, is Power Efficiency, Hurt Locker, and Raptor Upgrades. 
So rapid upgrades make him so he starts in null mode, which means is all of his mediums and lights are unblockable for the first like 30 seconds. So you got to intercept in the beginning. Hurt Locker you can't do the same special twice in a row, which is like not that bad, but it's kind of annoying. And the power efficiency, he use um, every time he uses a special, it only it takes 50% less power, and he does a lot of damage through your block with the special one. So it is kind of annoying. It's not that bad. Um, just bring someone like like my Corvus. Um, six star rank two, and I was like boosted doing this because you probably will be boosted going for like your first completion run. Um, he, my Corvus is able to take like seventy five percent off this guy, and I probably could do more, but my Ghost already did the first like twenty five percent. So, I mean, I didn't even use a revive in this quest to be honest. So as long as you have someone that's just a heavy hitter, you can just throw in there and just do some damage. You'll be fun. Fourth, we got the Captain Marvel quest and. This quest is cheese, if you have the right character, because this path is by far the easiest. It has energy adoption, which is every other hit. It's like a 50% chance, really. You're gonna If you hit them, you're going to get a, um, what's it called, incinerate. And incinerate is super weak, but also it has Icarus. So if you use a character like Ghost, who's taking off the incinerates, which you're getting a lot of, plus the Icarus Furies, everything was... Like, I'll give you an example of power. This Hella, she went into her indestructible phase, and I had, like, a few extra seconds to get more, like, incinerates and furious on me with Ghost. And when the incinerate, uh, when her in uh, indestructible wore off, I swiped back, had all the furious on me. I went in for a medium, and the medium crit, not even a, a special attack, this medium crit for 300,000 damage with Ghost. Just one medium crit. So, it's really easy to just void up a character with, with Icarus and energy adoption and I'm not really gonna explain Icarus because I mean you can read it yourself pause it but if you've done if you're at 6.4 you've done the Icarus chapter so you know what it does basically just gives you a lot of furies for all your hits and yeah it's really easy to just destroy everyone with that node that path got destroyed in like 10 seconds of ghost final boss um Captain Marvel um she's just really easy just bring a strong mystic because you know Close encounters and crumbling armor and all that heavy hitter. That's not really, it's not important. What is important is Captain Marvel's base abilities. Is if she gets hit by like a mystic, you know, like she'll take like that extra bit of damage, and it's like super roided up because of, she's a boss in six point um four. So every mystic hit was doing like nine thousand damage or something. So if you get like a shock on her or like Doctor Doom special two, you get the three incinerates. Oh my god, she melts like so fast. Like, this fight's not even a worry. If you have a strong Mystic, which you probably should since you've gone past the champion, unless you use, like, She-Hulk or something. Um, and if you're this late into the game, you probably have at least one strong Mystic in your roster. Like, a Taker. It's pretty much cheese. And even if you don't have a Mystic, just play close to her. It's not that bad. It's just a fat Captain Marvel. But I'm pretty sure even, like, weak, weaker Mystic champs could do this fight. Um, next, you get the Hydra Adaptoid. So, this guy... I would say the easiest path is, between, is probably if I want to load. Probably this one. You take the cap. Uh, you take the X twenty three, and you go to this path right here. It has Lionheart, so just you can't really reverse the healing, um, or you take damage. Arc overload and mirror image. Mirror image, whatever. It's basically just the arc overload. It's just a regen path basically, and it's not that hard to out damage the regen. There's not that many hard characters in the quest. Green Goblins was annoying because of you know himself. Dark Hawks and all, they love to throw Dark Hawks in 6.4, and then Guillotine 2099. Does she have anything special? Nope. One thing to keep in mind of a 6.4 is most of like, the um, paths, the final character in each path has like a special node. So like this one is like the Diablo one, it's not a big deal, but some of them are actually kind of hard. Um, I got stuck in one path because I thought the final character is easy, and then I didn't realize the node was like, you can only take damage with shock, so I just died. And then you do that path, you get here, Symbiote Deptor. Mute to armor breaks, limber, vigor, and matador, and all special attacks are unblockable, and they're immune to ability accuracy. So it seems like a lot. He has like six hundred, like fifty thousand health. And the way to do this fight that I found pretty much the easiest is don't worry about vigor or limber because you're not really gonna be needing to parry too much. Maybe in the very beginning of the fight, you get it set up. But he has like his natural abilities is unstoppable in power gain, like every like certain amount of time, and the matador node really helps. So basically. Uh, my advice is bring in Captain America with, like, the, I think, the mutant synergy that, like, gives him kinetic charge every time they throw a special or something. And just keep pushing him to special ones. And it's Iron Man special, so it's really easy to dodge. And you dodge it, you get a power bar. 
and then he, his power gain is already pushing up to another special. So he's spamming specials, and with Captain America and Matador, every time they throw a special, you get a special. So I was able to get to special twos and special threes, Captain America and Vindy are so easily and fast in this fight. But pretty much for this fight, you just need someone who can like out damage the vigor and like can deal with the unstoppable somehow. So it's a really fun fight, really easy solo. If you have a good champ for unstoppable at Captain America or Celsius Spider Man Shield, really easy, really easy fight. Finally, we move on to the grand champion. And this boss, which you've probably seen videos of, it's not really necessarily like, uh, no, it's definitely hard because it's like new. But it's not bullshit is like the point. Like you go to the 5.2 champion, um, Grant, uh, what's his name? Collector. That fight was bullshit. Okay, it was just there was not nothing you could really do. This fight is all skill, and I enjoy it. But the thing that makes this different is the six pass, obviously, and then every single one of these um sentinels have like a rule set. And if you kill this one, it'll enable that rule set. So say for this one, the one I did, opportunistic. Um, it, it, it's gonna enable this one. So it's. His infuriation time is reduced by 50%. However, his wounded state is also reduced by 30%. I didn't... Oh, shit. So I just threw my phone on the floor. Okay. Um, sorry if I just e-raped you. I got really close to my mic. Just <laughs> Basically, um, I didn't read the note before going in, but whatever. It wasn't that big a deal. I didn't really notice. But if my future fights are going to have longer um, wounded states, then I'm all for it. But this is definitely the easiest path to take, but it's one of the more annoying nodes. But, for like, say, for instance, this one. This one's probably the hardest path, which is Life Cycle and Rage and Soft Guard. It's really annoying to note, actually. Um, this one is probably, like, the easiest collector to take. It has a valuation. So, where's the valuation? Uh, valuation, valuation. The first blast of the Grandmaster's special one is no longer unblockable. However, it gains 200% attack rate in. So, basically, I mean, the special one's easy to dodge. So, it's, like, whatever. It's not that it has more attack at this point, like it really would, but it doesn't really like screw with the fight at all. Like for this one, this one might be hard. Liability, the amount of t um, tokens that persist between fights decreases to a maximum of ten, which is helpful. However, you only need three tokens of blunder to die, so it's a little bit more risky. So this one, inflation. Attack rating granted from each token is increased by fifty percent. However, the grandmaster's attack is also increased by thirty. So it's like you gotta pick and choose your poison, but. None of the paths are too hard, really, in their own way. If you have good champions, this one's pretty hard, but it has the easiest Grandmaster, so, you know, pick your poison, do whatever you want, but this fight, I would recommend Hype, Captain America, or, like, Doom. Those three, probably the best for this fight. So, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, and um, like, comment if it helps you, whatever. We could like, comment, subscribe, and, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.